The curvature tool makes it easier to draw curved paths. This is the curvature tool here. When I select it, I click on the screen, it produces an anchor. And then when I click across, it looks like it's made a straight line, but when I move my mouse, you'll see that the curve is bending around that point. So as I click around, and when I roll my mouse over the beginning point, you'll see a little circle appear at the bottom right hand corner of the curvature tool. Clicking there and I've finished making that shape. Now I can use my selection tools then to change the shape of this as I'd expect. But what if I wanted to change the, the shape of this and, and make some adjustments to the actual curve? Well I can do that easily by using this tool here, adding an anchor point. So it is probably showing the pen tool at the moment for you, but if I go to the add anchor point tool, I can add an anchor point there. Now I'm just going to hold the alt key down and scroll my mouse wheel, just to zoom in a little bit. And you can see that now if I use this direct selection tool here, when I roll my cursor over, you can see I have an anchor and now that allows me to make a little adjustment on just that part of the shape that I'm drawing. There's another anchor there. If I grab a handle then you can see the effect that that's having and if I was to move it too far the wrong way it'll actually double back on itself. So I don't want to, sometimes I want to grab a handle, but be careful and make sure that you're actually grabbing an anchor point. Now I'm going to undo all that, Control Z, and uh, because I zoomed in, I'll hit Control Zero to show me the artboard. What if I wanted to draw some footprints and I'm not a very good artist? Well. I can place, and we've done this before, I'll place on my screen some footprints. Now they're far too big so I'll resize those and of course I'll hold the shift key down to ensure they stay in proportion. Now I'm just going to concentrate on just this one here. You'll note I haven't selected the image I've just placed on the screen. I'm going to choose the color of the fill that I want my shoes to be, my footprints. I double clicked, I can choose a color here, or I'll click here and choose blue. Now I'm choosing blue just so it stands out from, from the black here. My stroke color, I'll do the same and I'll choose red just so that it makes it easier to see what we're doing and I'll make my stroke one millimeter. Now I can easily now use my curvature tool and trace this. So again I'm going to zoom in, hold the alt key down. I can trace around these footprints. If I click here and I'm just clicking my way along This is a really good cheats way of drawing something, drawing a simple shape. If I don't have the confidence to draw a shape well at the time. Now, down the bottom here, I just double clicked and I'll double click across there to get that straight line. What about the heel? Let's draw the heel in a different way. Let's use the pencil tool to draw the heel. The pencil tool is this one here and you might have the shaper tool showing at the moment. Now the way the pencil tool works is when I draw a shape like this, a pencil tool can take out all of the raggedy edges if you like. When I double click the pencil tool, here are the options. 
the smoother I choose on fidelity, the smoother that will be. If I had this slid right back to accurate, and I'll click OK, now I'll draw a rough shape like that again. And you can see there that it's put in many more anchor points, but it has drawn pretty well the shape that I drew. So once again, double click the pencil tool, adjust the fidelity. I always keep it right up on smooth by default. And now when I draw, and I'm using a mouse, not a pen tablet or anything like that, I'm able to draw a shape that's pretty good. So let's try and draw the heel here. And that's not too bad at all. Let's hit Control zero, zoom right out, and now I'm going to delete my footprints. Just click it and delete. I'm going to delete these by just drawing over the top of them, selecting them and hitting the delete key. Choosing the zoom tool, I can zoom in on my footprint. Now in order to fill this shape, you can see that I've drawn it with a red path. If I select the path with the direct selection tool, you'll see that if I just double click this, choose a color, click OK, I can fill it. I'll undo that. I could also select it with the direct selection tool and the shortcut for that is to hit the letter A. I could also do that and because this is in the front, I can choose the eyedropper tool and if I choose that blue, it will fill it with the blue and match it nicely. And the other way I can do it, of course, is to select it, make sure my fill colors are at the front and come over here to color swatches or colors and choose a color from there. Any of those will fill my footstep with blue. All right, now, they're separate objects because I created them separately. But I really do want these to stay together. So using my selection tool, so remember A is the direct selection tool and V is the selection tool. If I drag around both of them, one of the options I've got here under object is to group. So now I've grouped them. They are one footprint. Control zero. If I wanted to make a pair of footprints, I could copy that and paste it. And there's that other footprint there. And now under the object menu, under transform, I could reflect that. Reflecting it vertically, click OK. And there's that footprint there. I could move it down a little bit straighten it up a bit so that it looks a bit more realistic and there's a pair of footprints walking along. So the curvature tool and the pen tool both allow you to draw curved paths.